Hi guys, better late than never. My name is Lex and this is Tech Talk PH. And we are back again with another video. And today, pag-uusapan lang naman natin yung camera performance ng Redmi 9. Literal na nag-change costume lang ako and then shoot agad para sa susunod na video kasi nga hindi ako nakapag-upload kahapon. And yung episode natin ng Tech Talk News Flash na everything Apple, ayun, uploading na siya. So yun, right after it, change costume then yeah, shoot again, agad-agad para sa inyong lahat dahil ayaw kong madelay yung review natin sa phone na to. And before anything else, gusto ko lang mag-thank you sa ating bag subscriber na si Katropa. Shout out dyan kay Katropa. I hope you are doing well and thank you so much for subscribing and for your wonderful words na sinabi mo sa comment section. And uh, of course, sana sana nga Katropa lang talaga no? kasi yung mga ibang kilala ko dyan Katropa lang daw pero may nangyayari. Tamaan ang tama. <laughs> Joke. And maliban kay Katropa, gusto ko lang din magpasalamat kay Zenith Paul for advising na magbigay din ako ng aking komento pagdating sa vibration motors ng mga smartphones. So, ang mangyayari niyan, ang magiging flow ng review natin ay ganito. Unang video is for unboxing. Yung ikalawa, camera app tour and camera test. And then yung last is yung speaker, vibration motor, and gaming test. Kasi hindi naman nagiging ganun kahapa yung video natin pagdating sa gaming test. So, doon na lang natin sila ilagay sa bandang dulo kasi medyo full pack tayo kapag ka-camera test eh. Marami tayong ini-explain at marami tayong pinapakitang output sa ating mga subscribers para naman sobrang well-informed kayo pagdating sa camera performance ng mga smartphones na to. And so tama na yun. Marami kasi tayong viewers na nabubwisit kapag <laughs> masyadong maraming kwentuhan. So tara na. <laughs> Tignan na natin ang camera app ng Redmi 9. Ito po si Redmi 9. So gusto ko lang i-clarify yung sarili ko. <laughs> itong third sensor dito is actually the depth sensor and this is the macro lens okay? yung nakahiwalay uh, napag mix up ko silang dalawa doon sa sa unboxing video natin very straightforward ito yung selfie camera meron siyang HDR mode which you can turn on and off please bear in mind na kapag ka first time siya ginamit tinurn on mo yung HDR mode pag in-exit mo yung camera app pag gagamitin mo na siya ulit mag reset siya at ma-off siya automatically I don't know why is it happening click on that hamburger menu right there. You will see there's settings, camera frame, timer, palm shutter, and show grid line. Nothing special, portrait. And pagdating dito sa portrait mode, meron ditong isang napaka-interesting na feature. Once you click on this, magiging 21 by 9. So, magkakaroon siya ng black bar sa gilid. Parang eksena sa movie yung magiging selfie mo. So, sa pro mode, what do we have here? Kahit na sa front camera ka, you can access the pro mode right then and there. If you'd like to take a picture of a perfect landscape, you don't need to, to flip the camera to the back just to access it right so what are the controls that you can tweak merong white balance then your focus currently naka auto siya pero po pwede mo siyang i-manual right there there's the slider then here is here is the shutter speed ito sa shutter speed pag uh, mas matagal yung shutter speed you'll get more light into the picture this is perfect when you are taking pictures at night time or on low light ISO pwede mo rin i-tweak dito uh, this is exposure value or EV and then pagdating sa lens po pwede mo rin siyang kontrolin yung macro the ultra wide and yung normal wide angle cameras which is a step ahead of the competition because I, I guess this is the only camera that supports all three cameras that it has when it comes to the, the pro mode gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo to guys kasi of course kailangan nyo nyo tong malaman okay tinurn on ko yung flash so makikita nyo rin yung outputs later pero I, I, I would just like to set your expectations and gusto kong ipakita sa inyo beforehand kung ano yung kulay ng flash nya ito yung ikinagulat ko talaga Orange, guys. Yung kulay ng screen flash nitong Redmi 9. In continuation, this button right here is the metering mode. So, ano ba yun? Yun yung nagbibigay ng brightness balance sa picture mo. So, if you'd like to, to get a more pleasant looking picture, go ahead and click that. Okay, so this one is the uh, focus peaking. Ang ibig sabihin niya lang is yung itapakita niya sa'yo or magkakaroon ng linya-linya. Yung imahe na kinukuhanan mo kapag ka in focus yun. See? Turning red when it is in focus. 
Pag kinlik mo naman tong katabi niya, yung mga underexposed areas ng picture mo, ma-highlight in blue. And then yung mga overexposed naman will be highlighted in red. So yun yung function nito, which is a very good touch din. It's obvious na obvious, this one is for filters. Then settings, straighten. This is one good feature to have. At least you'll be guided when you are taking pictures and taking videos. Para alam mo na hindi tabingi yung magiging output mo. Yes, sir, as you can see here, sa front camera, meron din siyang short video. These are great for Instagram and TikTok videos na ginagawa mo. Ito, pag kilik mo to, magkakaroon ng effects. The kaleidoscope effects. You can see here, it differs in different perspectives. And, and then this one is the video speed or the capturing speed. So meron super slow, slow, regular fast and super fast. From slow-mo to time-lapse yung nangyayari dito. Here's the slow motion and technically slow motion feature only supports the back camera so sa front camera hindi mo siya po pwede nga rin. That's pretty much it sa uh, so front camera ng phone na to. and this one is an indicator of the beauty mode. You can tap on that to see more options here. Then it's smoothening uh, making your face slim and for bigger eyes. You also have the easy access here for the beauty filters. Punta naman tayo sa back cameras. Ayan, so dito sa back camera, kung may kita nyo, naka-enable yung AI mode. When it is highlighted in blue, yung mga settings dito, ibig sabihin naka-turn on yun. It also has HDR, which you can turn on. And one thing na gusto kong i-share sa inyo guys is that kapag naka-on yung HDR and yung AI, magta-turn off automatically yung HDR mode kapag tinurn on yung flash. Turn on yung flash, HDR mode, nawala. Balik natin, off, turn it back on. O pwede na ulit siya. Ito para sa filters, other settings. So, wala dito sa baba yung access sa macro lens nandun siya sa settings sa taas dito ito yung macro and then may access ka rin sa google lens which is a good touch kasi wala to serve yung music sorry meron din silang tilt and shift tilt and shift is basically just like a pre-bokeh effect I mean you can blur your background whether you'd like it to be in circle or in horizontal lines like those and of course you can find here the zoom level so currently I'm on 1x so this is the normal wide camera click on this 0 0.6x. This is the 118 degrees ultra wide angle lens. Tap on the last one right there is the two times digital zoom. So take note that this phone doesn't have uh, a dedicated zoom lens. The zoom levels here are cropped in digitally. Portrait mode. Okay, so here, so portrait mode, kaya hindi ako nakapagbigay ng temple outputs kasi hindi siya po pwedeng gamitin or hindi siya gagana when it's too dark. So pang umaga lang talaga siya. And meron din ulit siya this one, the movie frame, which is a good addition. So, sa video mode, ganun din. You have access or you can use all three modes in here. You can all take videos on all three. There's a beauty mode as well on videos. Isang kinagandahan nito kasi while you are taking a video, there will be a slider. So, you can zoom it in. So, you can see there. You zoom in siya up to time 6. Then, zoom it back to normal. From there, hindi mo siya po pwedeng gamitin from normal to ultra wide angle. Yun yung saddest part there. So, po pwede mo siyang gamitin yung ultra wide kung ultra wide lang siya. Pero from normal to ultra wide, hindi siya po pwede. Short video, may pakita ko na rin to kanina. Just the same as the controls that you have here. Of course, meron kang access sa ultra wide angle camera. And and set uh, two times zoom. Slow motion. Here. Yun nga. Ito, back camera. It supports the back camera, not the front camera. Alright. Maulit ko lang. The front camera and the back camera supports 1080p at 30 frames per second video quality. Ayos, diba? Iahatid ko naman sa inyo ang picture at ang video quality performance ng phone na to. Roll it!
And lastly, sa mga nagtatanong about sa raffle draw, tapos na po yung unang raffle draw, no? Meron nang nanalo ng apat na 500 pesos. And then, yung second raffle draw natin, items yung ipamimigay ko, that will happen kapag na-reach na natin yung 500 subscribers. Ay, kritik ang pa. Sorry, 500 subscribers. Medyo matagal-tagal pa yun kasi malayo-layo pa tayo sa 500. Pero yun nga, para makapag-earn ka ng entry, unang-una, bigyan mo ako ng screenshot ng YouTube app mo na makikita na nakasubscribe ka sa channel na to. Isa mo sa akin through Messenger or IG. Yung Facebook at yung Instagram account ko nasa video description o pwede mo akong i-PM doon directly para maka-earn ka ng isang raffle entry. And then, another raffle entry kapag shinare mo sa social media yung channel ko and or isa sa mga videos ko dito that will earn you one raffle entry as well. So, hindi porke lahat yan shinare mo mag-earn ka ng sobrang daming entries, no? Mag-share ka lang ng isa and or yung channel ko sa social media that will give you another entry. So, two entries na yun. Ikatlo, kapag ka meron kang nirefer na kaibigan mo, halimbawa, kunyari ako, subscriber ako ng channel na to, meron akong kawork, hindi kayat ko siyang mag-subscribe dito, at nag-subscribe siya. Ang gagawin mo lang, bigyan mo ako ng screenshot again, nung account niya, sa phone niya, send mo sa akin directly, and that will give you an additional point or an additional raffle entry para sa susunod na raffle draw. Kada isang tao, isang raffle entry. So, yun yung naging safeguard nung kapatid ko nung unang raffle draw kasi meron siyang 20 entries nung first raffle draw. So, talagang unang spin, nanalo agad siya. Ang dami niya talagang pinasubscribe ng mga kaibigan niya. At ayan na, nakita niyo na. Eto na. Eto na, ang aking birthday. So I'll be telling you the pros of using the five cameras of Redmi 9. First one would be, it is a very flexible camera. Uh, having that said, you can definitely enjoy every viewing angle, all the sceneries that you would like to capture. It covers all for you. Let's always remember, this phone is an entry-level smartphone. Next one would be, uh, the macro lens is usable. It is not there, just a design. It is not there just in addition to the camera that it offers. It is there for a function. Number three, saturation and the details are just right. I am liking it. Number four, bokeh or the portrait mode looks promising. I mean, the separation of the background from the subject. It looks like something that has been taken from a dual camera selfie system. Number five, the pro mode controls are insane. <laughs> I did not expect that it has all the buttons that you, you need to use when you are taking pictures using the manual mode. So that is a thumbs up. And lastly, number six, the two times digital zoom is actually pretty decent. So here are the cons of using this camera. Main smartphone camera. First one would be the dynamic range could be better. It's meh. It's blown up at some points and in some parts of the outputs that we had. Second one would be no OIS nor EIS. How many times I'm expecting these companies to actually put at least EIS on the main camera to make the videos look stable. Number three, the screen flash is a joke. I don't know what's in the head of Xiaomi or the designer or the marketing chief or the chief design whoever that is i really don't know why he or she thought about putting an orange light as a screen flash that's very funny number four lens flares there are some video samples that we've had that that lens flaring is very obvious and i don't like it number five indoor selfies lacks clarity so that is one thing that Realme 6i is good at. Yun lang yung medyo lamang ni Realme 6i. Number six, the contrast on the ultra wide angle lens is lower than expected. Can you try to pump it up a bit? I, I know, I, I can post edit that picture. Some of us are really not into editing pictures anymore. We just take a picture and then post it directly through the social media sites. That is one thing that I don't like about the wide angle camera. Kung ikukumpara ko to sa Realme 6i, before the conclusion, if I were to choose what smartphone camera to bring, this one or the Realme 6i, any time of the day, I'll go with this camera. This is just better than the Realme 6i, at least in my opinion, and at least in my experience because I was able to, to get my hands on the Realme 6i as my very first smartphone to review on this channel. Makakalimutan ba natin? If I am to score this phone, the camera performance of this phone, I'll give this phone an 8.6. Right, so hindi ko na masyado patatagalin pa guys kasi alam ko, ang tagal na. <laughs> Nakakailang shots na ako. Baka kasi naboboring na ayaw. So yun nga guys, thank you so much again for being here. Thank 
thank you so much for your time today. I hope you are all doing well. Susunod na dito at abangan ninyo is yung gaming test, vibration test, and yung speaker test ng Redmi 9. Then again, this has been Lex. See you on the next video. Peace.